rely on it every second of every day, but a lot of folks don't always think about their heart. Well, that is the goal, though, of a big event happening in downtown Minneapolis this morning to just get you moving and get your heart healthy. Five Eyewitness News reporter Kate Renner is live at Target Field to tell us more about the Twin Cities Heart Walk. Kate? Well, guys, the Twin Cities Heart Walk starts in just a couple hours here at Target Field. There's a lot of neat activities going on. There's booths, there's some screenings for cholesterol or blood pressure, and this booth behind me is really neat. It's called the Storytellers Booth, and that offers survivors and walkers a chance to just tell their stories about what motivated them to be here today, why they're walking here in the Twin Cities Heart Walk. And this is a really neat story here. This is Kyle Sheeler. You didn't, you're not a survivor of heart disease, it's actually stroke, which is another thing that people are walking for here. Can you tell me a little bit about your story? Yeah, so currently I'm 23, I'm from St. Cloud, Minnesota. Um, when I was 18, I was umpiring a youth baseball game and I was hit in the leg with a ball ball. I didn't think much of it, it hurt, bruised, everything like that. Um, I just remember waking up the next morning, I had a pretty bad headache, uh, I was watching ESPN, the scores were starting to become a little blurry. and. Uh, I noticed my right eye was twitching incredibly fast, and the scary thing is my parents were literally seconds away from leaving our house to go to the Twin Cities, so I would have been alone. I called my mom back, and from there I don't I don't remember a whole lot. I passed out, and then I woke up at the St. Cloud Hospital. And you had had a stroke? Yeah, I had, I had, had a stroke that, uh, the ball that hit me in the leg, it caused a clot, and that went through a little hole in my heart called the PFO, Peyton Foramen Ovalle, that went up to my brain, and that caused my stroke. And it's extremely rare for people your age to have strokes. Can you talk a little bit about your recovery and what the doctor said yeah. about why you recovered so well? So at Mayo Clinic, uh, they told me I, I would have a 99% recovery. They said because I was so healthy from track and cross country in high school that uh, I wouldn't struggle as much. But still, it, it wasn't easy. I mean, I remember doing basic coordination exercises like eyes closed, arms crossed, stuff, you know, just basic things like that. And Really, I was back on my feet in about a month and a half after closing the Running hole. marathons and everything. Yeah. yeah, yeah, running marathons. Next month is grandma's, so. Oh, good luck with that. Thanks, yeah. Kyle, so much for joining yeah, thank us. Thank you very much. I'm sure this one mile or three mile walk will be nothing for you. Yeah. The marathon. <laughs> we'll see. All right, thanks, yeah, Kyle. Thank you. And as I said, one mile and three mile. It starts at 11 o'clock, but at 10.15, they have opening ceremonies, and there they will induct some of the survivors into the Hall of Fame. Pretty neat here. Reporting live from Minneapolis, Kate Runner, 5 by Witness News. Well, exercise is a great way to start a healthy heart, but doctors want people, especially women, to evaluate their risk beyond just exercise. Heart disease is preventable, but kills about 4,000 Minnesota women every year. The biggest risk factors are smoking, diabetes, and high cholesterol. Cardiologists say women have more ambiguous symptoms than men, things like shortness of breath or just neck and tooth pain. If you have any symptoms, don't wait. Talk to your doctor. Some heart attack patients are in their late 20s and 30s. Today, one of the... Taking a look at our top stories this morning. Today, people across the metro will pound the pavement for heart health. 5 Eye Witness News reporter Kate Renner is live at Target Field with more. Kate? Well, here at Target Field, they're getting ready for the Twin Cities Heart Walk. It starts in about two hours. It'll take place this morning in downtown Minneapolis for a mile or three mile walk. The walk celebrates the American Heart Association's goal to get Americans active, to improve their health, get them out there, get their heart started. They're hoping to raise $2 million today, and they expect 23,000 people to get down here at Target Field. The walk starts at 11 o'clock, so get on down here if you're interested. Reporting live from Minneapolis, Kate Runner, 5 Eyewitness News. Also in the